How many times have you said to yourself, oh, why am I such a failure with this diet again? I did this new thing and it's just not working or why can't I keep up with this thing? Oh, what is wrong with me? How many times have you felt like you started over and over and over again, right? I'm going to cover the top four reasons why you feel like such a failure every time you do a diet because it is one of the worst feelings to feel like you have to start over again and start over from scratch, even though you've done this a million times before, right? Uh, I'm Dr. Beth Westy, a women's health and hormone expert, and I'm going to dive into these things to give you some great options to start with. So you stop floundering, stop feeling like you're starting over, and really give you some solid things to move forward with that are actually going to make a difference for you, for you. And this is the time of year where there's so much information out there. So I'm going to cut it down and make it really, 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 you know, specific for you to target. So first thing that I'm just going to jump right into first thing of why a lot of females feel like they struggle and they fail on their diets is related to the thing I talk about all the time, right? Hormones, hormones, hormones is like the number one thing. Why would this be the main thing? Well, because when you're looking at how your hormones impact your overall weight gain and weight loss resistance, huge factor for the female body, huge factor. If you have too much estrogen, right? If you have too much cortisol, if your androgen levels are not balanced, right? If your hormone levels are off, your body will gain weight, gain weight very quickly. And then no matter what you do, you can't lose it. That's because it's not about calories at this point. It's about your hormones and it's about your hormones being imbalanced. How do I know if this is where my hormones are doing? How do I know if my hormones are a factor? I really want to dive in and understand more about this. Great. That's fantastic. That's why we have an entire test designed for this. This tests your comprehensive hormones, not just what's free flowing in your system, but how your body processes it. That's where we can see exactly, oh, is it really the weight gain your system has a problem with it? Is it the weight loss resistance piece here? It's like literally right here on the page. When you know what's going on, you can target it specifically and make steps from there. So I'm going to put a link here in the comments for you to get your own Dutch test. I love Dutch test because it gets sent right to your house. You take it at home. You send it in to the lab, not to me, to the lab. And once you send it into the lab, they analyze it and then we go over your results and create custom recommendations based exactly on what we are seeing. So that is why it's so fantastic to have something that's tailored for you. This is unique to you. It's unique to what your body needs related to your hormones. So it's Dutch test. Anyway, and there's, there's a lot more I can speak on on that. Um, so make sure you go in the comments, get your Dutch test, and then we can dive into what your hormone levels are and why there's an issue there. So that's the first thing. Second thing here is your stress. Now, a lot of times, and I went over this actually today with two different people today alone talking about stress and looking at their reports and looking at some of the information that was listed down there. And they're like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess I have some stress, but it's not that bad. I don't feel terrible all the time. Okay, that's fine. But realize that if your body is having a lot of inflammation, if you have a lot of gut issues, all those other things, that is internally stressful. Stress can come from different places. So you can have external stress that is out there in the environment, right? Oh, I have stress at work or I have stress in my relationship or I have stress with these chemicals I'm exposed to. Okay, fine. But you can have that internal stress. My liver is not processing my hormones correctly. That creates more stress for my body. Yeah. And that can create more fatigue and other issues as well. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing. Now, again, fortunately, Dutch tests also tests for your stress levels. So we know exactly what they are and how to target that perfectly for you and for what your body needs. I love that. The next thing, right, that can really, really, you know, make you feel like a failure when you're dieting is sleep. Sleep is so important and not just getting hours of sleep, but getting quality sleep. If you feel like you're getting, oh yeah, I get, you know, eight hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep. Okay, are you waking up feeling rested? Do you feel like you have the energy you need all day long? If no, then we need to work on your sleep. Sleep is a huge role in metabolism. Huge role in metabolism. There's no way your body's gonna care about fat burning if it's not able to sleep and rest. That's just physiology, right? So we have to work on your sleep. And then the last thing here 
One of my other favorite topics to talk about all the time is your gut, gut health. So when we talk about gut health and we talk about how your digestive system is functioning, it's not just a matter of like, oh, do you have a stomach ache or not, right? Do I have pain or not? It's how well do you process? How well do you absorb? How well does your digestion actually work, right? Are you going to the bathroom every day? Are you detoxing properly? And a lot of times we just think of like how we feel with our gut, but there are a lot of other symptoms that are connected with the gut that might not feel painful or like, oh, I don't really, yeah, I get bloated, but it doesn't hurt. So it's not really that big of a deal. That's a big deal. That's a very, very big deal. A very, very big deal. Your gut function overall, again, plays a huge role in your metabolism and your body's ability to move forward on a great nutrition plan for you. So the other thing, if you're worrying about dieting and you're like, okay, well, what do I do then if I feel like a failure? I feel like, oh my gosh, the new year's coming and I'm going to have to, I'm going to get, you know, sucked into another diet plan and it's not going to be something that's helpful. And then I'm going to, I know I'm going to fail on it anyway. So don't get sucked into a diet plan, right? Find something that works right for you. And in terms of a diet, just let's work with your gut and get your body functioning better. So that when you eat the healthy, nutritious food that you're trying to eat, it actually does the right thing internally. Yeah, then you start to see the right results because of it. Whole different way to approach your health and your plans moving forward. So um, other resources I have for you around these things is I talk a lot about eating for your hormones in your cycle, how that can help with your hormonal health with stress and everything else. I have my book, The Female Fat Solution. This is where I talk about the eat for your cycle method and then the female menopause solution. This is how to eat for menopause. When your body changes, when your hormones change, you need to shift how you're eating and how you're caring for your new menopausal body. Mm -hmm. And then I also have my YouTube channel. So if you found this information helpful, if you're like, this is great, I learned something here, awesome. Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Make sure you get notifications on when I go live or when I'm giving out this information. Because the sooner you know this, the faster you can apply it and the quicker you can start to see results. Yes, amazing. And again, if you are, if you want more, if you're like, okay, I need more, I need something more tangible for me, go in the comments, click that link, get your own Dutch test sent right to you. Yes. Um, other things I have for you, again, my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Wesley. You can subscribe there to stay updated. My podcast is The Female Health Solution. Um, and then I have my tinctures for hormonal balance, um, or estero balance and progesterone balance. These are available as well to help with that hormonal balance Again, to help you get to a place where you can make progress and stay consistent with it. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you need anything else. Um, yeah, otherwise, have a great rest of your night, and I will see you later.